Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to Wizard's World. And right now, what we're going to be doing is going to be a little side series that we're going to be doing. Uh, Wizard's World Zoo is still going to be continuing. And as you can see, I've got some stuff in my inventory. I, I did a little bit of exploring, setting some stuff up. But the main focus of this series going to be dinosaur. I always wanted to do like a dino park type series and I didn't want to add any more mods into our Z world. So instead of doing that I decided to run a side series. And this has a lot of the mods in it that our Z world has. We also have a couple different ones, and those will become apparent. And I'm not wearing my skin at the moment because the moment I have internet, I have a place where I can upload videos. So I will try to keep upload videos uploaded as frequently as I can. Don't you worry, I will try to keep videos going for you guys. It's, it's something I love to do as well. So I will try to be as consistent as possible. They may be a lot more infrequent than they have been, but I will do my best to keep videos uploaded at least every, few, uh, every couple of days. So if you guys can just bear with me until uh, the situation gets sorted, then. Yeah, that would be that. So, without much further blabbering, we're going to get some wood because, as you can see, we're out of wood. And then we will go and explore that. Building, and I'll tell you more about that. And best leaf decay, of course, we have that in this. That's more of a convenience thing because I hate waiting for leaves to be spawned. When I chop trees down, I would like them to just disappear. So that is why that has been added. And of course, a lot of our aesthetic mods are still in here. Natura is not in here at the moment. I don't plan on adding it to this pack, but I do have the plant mega pack, so that will help with the aesthetics of building the dino pens and things like that. I may add mods in as I go along. I usually do, as you guys know. But until then, let's just finish clearing these two trees. And then we'll go and look at what I've done so far with that building. And that building is one from the Fossils and Archaeology Revival mod. It is like a uh, lab the lost laboratory, or abandoned laboratory, uh, abandoned research center, if you will. And if you guys would like to, leave me a comment on what we should name both our area. I would like to do something would like the name Lake, like Hummingbird Lake or something like that. Let me know if you like that. If we have a better name for the area, feel free to leave it in the comments. But we need a name for our research center. It's going to go right up there where that stone is. That is going to be, I might bring it down some, maybe right in there, this region. That's probably what I'll do. I'll probably bring it down right in there. Hummingbird 
Cool. I heard if you hold sugar. Let's try that. Let's try that. I heard if you hold sugar in your hand. There was a hummingbird nearby. That they will like uh, come near you. That we can attract them with sugar. Oh, there's one. Hummingbird. That is awesome. He is a cool looking one too. Purple and all that. Purple is one of my favorite colors. And now we're kind of stuck in the water. I have to swim under the bridge. And over to the ground. And there's another snack one I should grab. I'm going to make this area here like a tree farm. Because it's close and things like that. But we have a mailbox. I was going to do like a role playing thing with this whole thing. The story was going to be that we were, we walk up in the valley over that way, and then we just don't remember anything. We came into this building and discovered a whole storyline. But uh, let me know if you guys like that. If you think that is a cool idea, and there's going to be a book here that had, you know, some RPG details and things like that. And as you can see, we started off with some stuff. But this is what we got so far. We got some culture, culture bats, some furnaces, some starting gear, a couple of doggy charms, stuff for them, some gold coins, those things are fancy, gold coins and money. And I will probably name this something like research box or something like that. Like I normally do in my series. I hope you see why because we're gonna be quote unquote hiring assistants and things like that. But we're not gonna be doing things like that until we go farther into it and I'm not just gonna start making a bunch of NPCs that don't make sense. You guys know when I add NPCs I try to add them where they make sense. This is the entrance. And these buildings this is literally like behind the building, but I wanted to get a front, a front entrance from here, and this is back entrance. Oh, magpie egg! Awesome, that's a cool thing to get right off the bat. These magpies are cool, they at least be well on health, unfortunately. And as we go up here, there's a second floor. And we're going to go through kind of like a little storyline of our own. We're going to be repairing this abandoned research facility, carrying on with the work, and we're going to be doing some exploring like off in this direction, off in that direction. That's kind of a unique area over that way. And yeah, we're going to be carrying on the research and across that long bridge, there's a plains area. And we're going to be doing a lot of work out there. I will show you off in the plains in that direction. We're going to be starting our Dino Park slash animal exhibits and things like that. I was going to be fo focusing mostly around dinosaurs. So, first thing we need to do is any eye, it does not seem to be working. Hmm. I'm one more positive without any eye. That is something that we're going to have to work on. Any eye, not enough items. We're going to have to work on that because with mods installed, we're going to need to remember how to do 
some of the things. First thing we're going to need to do, I believe, is something. There we go, analyzer. I knew it was pretty similar to that. So, we're going to need to do some sodium and some stuff like that. But for right now, we'll put that in there. And we'll just throw some of the fossils in. And let's start doing a little bit of cleaning, shall we? Okay. Let's let's basically start. And I'm gonna to talk to you guys a little bit about what my plans are here. I want to have different areas in the research center here for different things. Different areas are gonna be for different uh Jobs, so to speak. I want to have a nice kitchen, a kitchen area where we're going to have little spare in that. Interesting. Anyhow, we're going to have an area where we're going to have a nice kitchen, and we're going to have the research area. Oh, Mr. Cow. And of course, we're going to have a storage area. And I might do some reorganizing of how things look in here. And the trimming out and some other things like that. Is there a magpie still here? No. That's unfortunate. So. We have the analyzer. Somewhere already gone. There it is. We have some DNA. We have some bone meal. Or sand. I know we can do that for a little bit of room. We'll do that so we get bone meal. Gravel, I'm not concerned about. We got more. We will put it on. You know, that is pretty awesome. Don't tap it. These are really cool. I'll show you what these are. Find a place for it right here. They're like paintings. They do different, like, uh, prehistoric pictures. Pretty much. And they show a few different scenes. But they are just like things that fly off. And grab it. But we'll grab that DNA. And there's a chest over here that has some of it in. We'll put DNA in there. And we'll start. I'm going to keep this as like building, uh, building supplies. So that's probably that's a building supply. Like that. Take the bones, the drums. Furnace can be building supplies. Wood can be building supplies for now. I'll take the books out. We're going to keep this for DNA. And we'll um, uh, use this. We'll use this chest as like weapons. So this can be a food chest for now. So we have food. Okay. Not perfect. Okay. So yeah, I will do some work. Do some sorting, do some other stuff. Um, but yeah, let me know 
Definitely let me know in comments, guys. I need a name for our area. Because I, this, is, this is such an awesome looking area. I mean, it's so, it's so pretty with all the plants. It's very natural looking, like especially with the birds flying around. And there's fish. I'm not seeing any at the moment, but there is fish. And we will be catching them. And doing some things like that, making some aquariums and things like that because I love aquariums. And yeah, we need a name for the area. I like Hummingbird Lake. But if you guys have a better name, definitely let me know. And we need a name for our research center. Definitely. So, let me know, guys, and I will make a nice-looking sign, and we need a name for our research center, and I'll be making an awesome-looking sign for that as well. So, I need names. So, feel free to leave me a comment with name suggestions, and I will catch you on the flip side. Have a good one. Bye-bye.